Hello guys, so I want to do a book review on Soul of the Fire and it is part of the uh, Sword of Truth uh, saga. It is so good. Like, I love this saga. I love this series. It is so awesome and I am very excited to talk about this. I just finished this. It took me a while to finish because, alright, I want to do a full review. So spoilers, I'm going to try my best not to do too many spoilers, but I got, uh, got a lot to say about this book. Alright, so it starts off very interesting with a chicken mystery with them, uh, with, with Richard saying that it's a chicken without a chicken, walk a chicken that's not a chicken, walking around the village of the mud people. And uh, it was, it's a long scene, I'm not a big fan of the mud people anyway, but it is a very interesting part, at least it deals with Richard and Caitlin, and that part is nice, because afterward, we don't talk about them for many many pages we go into Andorif and in Andorif we deal with a boy named Flick and Flick and Beta and Campbell and his wife and all these characters that you're not going to really know much about and it can be a little trying I've heard a lot of bad reviews on this certain one because nobody liked the part of them really deal with Richard and Caitlin that can be uh, hard because I have my favorite characters I mean we've followed Richard and Caitlin all this these years and times and all that stuff and it feels kind of frustrating not to deal with just them but if you if you're patient with this book it'll pay off it starts to pay off at page and I know it's kind of hard to like hear but it starts to pay off at page 656 to me because at least around that order because around that uh around that set of numbers because it's throughout you're going to be very patient because you're run by a lot of politics and it's a lot of you actually have to read their it's actually like listen to their speeches and those are long long sections of this book but if you stick with it you'll not be disappointed the end the revenge the hypocrisy the just satisfying ending on this book this book's ending is just so satisfying that it makes all your patience feel worth it you know it, it feels worth it by the end you will feel worth it so you got this really corrupt politician who was up there uh attacking girls and she's on his wife and you got this guy who is just so good at his job that he's uh, making things happen for people and and he's supporting this really wicked man and the the thing that this wicked man does to him I see I'm going too far this is a big spoiler I'm not going to I don't want to do spoilers like you can tell me in the comments below if you want me to do spoilers on my book reviews because I don't really know if that's what people want or do you want to know if it's good or bad overall this book these patients um I would say before I first when I first was reading this in the middle of the book, I was saying that this certain one could be skipped, but it cannot be because what happens with the main characters when it comes back to Caitlyn, especially Caitlyn and Richard, you will need to read book five because book five at first I mean seriously though when I was reading it took me forever it really took me forever to um to read this book, but it because I was so bored of the political part I'm not a, I don't like non-fiction books like I'm just I know I should it would go with what I went to college for but I'm not a fan I love fantasy books and the whole middle is just too real life and I don't like that I love fantasy I'm, I'm, I'm buying I picked a fantasy book not a political book for a reason I don't want to read about that so in that aspect they'll make you feel like man I don't want to read non-fiction but if you stick with it, you'll probably like it. Yeah. If you stick with this, you'll like it. And at the end, you'll love it. And by the end, you'll be saying, it's a wonderful book just like me. Even though you might have been cussing it out <laughs> in the in the beginning of it. So stick with it. No more spoilers. If you want those spoilers, please tell me in the comments. I will talk to you personally about it. Because I don't know. And, and if you love, I see enough spoiler comments. Like, oh, if you spoilers, I'll start doing spoilers in my stuff but um yeah so also like i say in a lot of my videos i have my author i have my own fantasy book that i love for you to check out in the links below 
and um, I'm a sci-fi fantasy, and uh, it's not as long as these these guys. These are bricks. Now, of course, it's longer, but this is mine. Is not as long. Mine's about 300 pages, so you can check it out and tell me what you think about it. If you don't buy it, just read the uh, little sample. Tell me what you think. I love that. So um, I'll talk to y'all guys hopefully later. Okay, bye.